Hey everybody, John Have you Good here. Good morning greetings from Haslett, Texas. Alright, um, here's what happened. I arrived there last night about 1... 130, 140 something. And uh, my appointment was at 6 a.m. They wouldn't let me go into the facility because I was too early. But they did give me the chair, the, the choice to go in and drop the trailer at the facility but I would have to bobtail out of their facility see that's why we're bobtailing right now um, so I would have to bobtail out and go to sleep and I was kind of kind of glad that they did because there's really no place to park a truck around here but at least with a bobtail, you know, you could always squeeze in somewhere. Um, again, my appointment was at 6 a.m. But, I don't know, that didn't rest too well for me. So I got up at 5.30, checked with the security guard, the second, uh, the first shift security guard, I guess, or third. Anyway, it was a different uh, security guard. I told, I explained to her what happened, that uh, the previous security guard allowed me to drop the trailer and I just want to go in back to the receiving office, make sure that they are unloading the trailer and that they know it's there and they're not going to mark me late if there's this, usually places like this they have, you know, $200 late fee. And uh, just want to make sure that if I got there at 5.30 or 6 o'clock, if they say, well, you have to hook up to it and deliver, you know, the load, put it in dock and all that stuff. At least I gave myself an option to do that. And she said, yeah, 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 you know, you could hook up to your trailer. I said, you know, the, the trailer that I dropped it, the spot that where I dropped the trailer in last night uh, it's not there anymore so chances are they probably already have it in the door and she says um, oh well okay you can park in front of it and um, once it's empty then we'll let you know I said I'd rather just go back out and go to sleep because my 10 hour break is not done until you know 11 or 12 and she said yeah okay we could do that too I said I said uh, is there is there a place I could sleep since I'm Bob Taylor and said no you have to leave the facility so I did and left over there and came over here and um, so I had a pretty good night's sleep um, but now I think it's time to go back and see if the trailer is empty, get our bills, and uh, let's do that. There we go. So again, today it is Today is Friday, August 9th, 2019. The local time is 11.51. Temperature is was uh, 89 degrees. 93 now. And uh, our 10 hour break should be done by now. Yep. Ah, darn it. I don't know why. What's something is happening with my washer fluid is low I suspect I really suspect that it's the lid that keeps um, keeps coming off world 
is this? Oh, that's hot. Lid is on. So I don't know why it's sucking. There must be a... Uh, there must be a... A leak. There must be a leak. Put two gallons in it yesterday. By the way, I have been assigned to pick up a load out of White Waves Foods in Dallas, I'm going to Mount Crawford, Virginia. be yeah it's leaking all right since we're already here. That's where the APU is. Where the APU is. <sighs> well, Thank you, that's the battery on and off switch to power everything down. All right?
that's just the APU condensation. It's water. Not, uh, it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like windshield washer fluid. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Peace. Waved us by, so we gotta go look for our trailer. Oh no. Oh boy. Where's our trailer? Oh my. Yikes. is loaded or not. Yeah, he's loaded. There's no way to no way to get that thing raised up. Yeah, maybe if you put it on first gear. You know what we could do. We could just go and get our bills first, find out where they parked the trailer. Probably what happened was the kingpin did not hook up to the fifth wheel properly. Oh boy. They're going to have to get a wrecker. I know the pain. I know the pain. I've been there, been there, been there.
Sinkhole, sinkhole. Look at the size of that sinkhole. That's not a pothole anymore, man. That's a sinkhole. <laughs> Catch you later. Peace. Well, we got our bills. So, we just got to go and find our empty trailer. Request the boss to put a ADL transport like they do with rail over here. You could easily see it. There we go, right here. Nice and open. Ah, oh, it's hot out here right now. Stevens over there just kind of gave me a reminder, right? All right, we're locked. Make sure we don't make the same mistake he did. see if our load locks are in there. Huh, load locks are in there. Not too bad. Alright, let's get going. something
maybe I can see the leak. Looks like Steven's got it dollied down and dropped. I know I'm just being nosy. I was just kind of curious to how they were gonna rectify that problem. Uh, my appointment is not till 6. It's only 1242 so I'm not really in a hurry to start my clock. The only damage he's done is his uh, his fairings. I don't know if he's gonna hook back up to it or not. But it is hot, hot, hot out there. Well, it's not Texas hot, but <laughs> it's 97 degrees. I mean, that's pretty pretty cool for Texas weather, but. For Wisconsin, that is hot. Not so bad. I don't know, maybe they're... Maybe they're sending a supervisor to check up on the trailer, make sure it's safe to go, or... I don't think they're going to hook up to it. Well, I'll keep you guys posted. Later.